Scotland and alcohol have a long and complicated history. And surprisingly, even abstinence plays a part in that. Here in Glasgow Green, right in the heart of the city centre, hundreds of sober Glaswegians in the late 19th century raised their right hand and pledged never to touch the bevy. Taking an oath not to drink alcohol? That is the least Scottish thing I have ever heard. These absolute head cases were part of the temperance movement, which reached its height at the end of the 19th century, led by guys like Sir William Collins, the Lord Provost of Glasgow, who despaired of alcohol's negative effects on the city so much that he bravely outed himself as a non-drinker. Carved into the stone here beneath my feet is a quote. It reads, the demon drink. It stuck its fibrous roots into everything so deeply that to tear up the spirit drinking practices is like tearing up the whole social system of society. Or perhaps more concisely, in Scotland, drink and society are the same thing. But for there to be a temperance movement, there had to be something to move against. Was the drinking culture so bad that people had to take up arms against it? I've come to meet historian Thora Hans to find out that answer. I remember alcohol just being synonymous with pretty much everywhere that I went, you know, whether it was in the community, whether it was at home, with my grandparents or whatever. Has that always been the case in Scotland? Um, yeah. <laughs> Short answer. Um, I mean, alcohol was such a part of everyday life and, you know, like from the Industrial Revolution onwards, there was never an occasion in Scotland where you wouldn't have a drink, right? So baptisms, uh, weddings, funerals, um, rites of passage. So if you were going through a trade and you were moving on from being an apprentice, then it would be celebrated in drink treating your boss, like treating your, your foreman and so on. So alcohol was, you know, pervasive within society. And I think like in the 19th century, like around about 1850, there was something like one pub for every 160 people in, in wow. Glasgow. The temperance movement, uh, where people took a pledge to, to cease alcohol consumption, what was it responding to? It was responding to the moral concerns mainly about drunkenness, right? If you think about the, the ubiquitousness of alcohol and the everyday, you know, aspect of alcohol consumption, taking the pledge and not drinking was quite radical. Um, we're now, because of like alcohol has become much more of a public health concern, we have some guidelines that give us an idea of what moderation might be, but you know, Back at the time of the temperance movement, there was even less of an idea what moderation was. So is moderation just not getting dead drunk or fighting drunk or fall down drunk, or is it something else? But what, what, what it shows uh, at least is how long we've been struggling with this issue. Yeah. 